Okay, so then let's go ahead and understand the rational constraint choice that a consumer has. See what happens in this case now is that we have a budget line. The budget line shows all the bundles that are affordable. Okay, the bundles that are affordable are either below the budget line if they are below the budget line, then they are not consuming your entire income. Or they are on the budget line, which means they are consuming all of your income. Right. Now consider the indifference curve. The indifference curve on the indifference curve you're getting bundles that give you the same level of utility. But above the indifference curve, assuming well-defined preferences and assuming that monotonicity exists, we would assume the higher the bundle or the higher the indifference curve, the more is the utility. This is clear to us. Now, if this is the case, then consider two more indifference curves. One indifference curve I'm going to draw from here. Okay, please. Uh, have same preferences and the other indifference curve I'm going to draw from here. Now consider this indifference curve. This indifference curve has a lot of points on it that consume less than my income. There is also a point that consumes exactly equal to my income. Now, because it consumes exactly equal to my income, I should be able to also see if there is any other bundle which although consumes equal to my income, maybe gives me a higher utility. So what I go ahead and I do is I go to the next indifference curve and I check whether this next indifference curve is affordable. Well, other points on the indifference curve are definitely not affordable because they do not touch my budget line. But there's this one point, this. And this is affordable. This touches my budget line. So this bundle that just touches my budget line, one is affordable because it touches the budget line, but two is also giving me higher utility because this is on a higher indifference curve. If I would have talked about my third indifference curve that we drew, this third indifference curve actually gives me more utility, right? It lies in the preferred bundle region. This is not affordable. It doesn't touches my budget line at all. So this is the only bundle which gives me highest utility and is still affordable. This bundle becomes my equilibrium bundle. Let's go ahead and check this out. So this bundle X1 star, X2 star is the bundle that gives you the 
highest utility but is still affordable 